Hi, so today we're looking at the IMAX B6 charger from Sky RC. And I actually believe this one to be the, the real thing. Uh, I bought this from banggood.com and I believe they have three different versions of this. Uh, this was the one that was a bit pricier than the other ones. So I think actually this one is the real deal. Uh, let's see if we can focus a little here. Uh, well, it mentions it has PC monitor and it has a little star there and it says that uh, you have to buy like a special PC link, USB adapter separately. And worth notice, noting as well is that there is no no DC adapter included in this. This is how the back looks like. So if we can get a little better light there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so there's a couple of ones out there that's fake. Uh -huh. I'm not saying that they're useless. They're pretty good, but this one is supposed to be the real deal. So let's have a look inside. So we get the uh, instruction manual. It's pretty extensive. It's good quality, good paper. Feels like the real thing. No. And we get a little compartment here with like the most basic cabling. We have yeah, this one. This is for hooking up the the charger to uh, like a lead acid, like car battery, 12 volts. You can actually use the car battery if you're out in the field to charge your, you know, quadcopter batteries or whatever. So this is what you'll use for that. And you have, I don't know what you call it, if it's JST or I always mix those up, but this is like a charger cable for charging your batteries. Charge lipo, lithium ion, nickel, cadmium, lead acid, all kinds of batteries. And you get two other connectors here as well. I don't know what they're called. So apart from that, nothing in that compartment. And we have the unit itself. And as I said, you don't get any charging cable or DC adapter, so you have to provide your own one. It takes anywhere from 11 volts to 18 volts. So, let's see. What most people look for right away is on the back here, there's this like hologram, the sticker here, and you have a number you can scratch here. I don't know if you can see, but I actually get a number here. And if I take those digits, digits, those numbers, and I and I go to the Sky RZ website, I will be able to register this, and that will might be the the final test and proof to see that this is in fact a, an authentic Sky RZ product. So what we have here is the DC input, and as I said, get the cable to Connect it to a, a car battery, lead acid. Uh, but I'm going to hook this up to a, a DC adapter of mine. And we have a port here for a temperature sensor. If you want to hook that up. And uh, yeah, and here we have one of the outputs. This little sticker is just warns and informs that we should check the, the battery count before we hook up the, you know, you can you can order uh, balanced um, cables for attaching balanced charging. So you can attach like up to, I believe it is six cells. Yeah, right, six cells. That's quite a lot. That's like what you normally have in a, a laptop battery pack. Uh, and you hook them up to these ones. Funny thing is, I actually ordered uh, one of those cables along with this, but 
even though that they, they, they say it's shipped in the same shipment, it didn't show up in the same shipment. So let's see here if I can get this off. This is like a protection for the display. We're not going to see much unless we take it away. So I have to peel it off somehow. Yeah, and it says never use the charger unsupervised. Yeah, yeah. We don't have fires and stuff. So, this is basically it. I don't have the DC adapter here right now, but I, I might return and continue this video once I hooked everything up. So, here we are again, and I've hooked this IMAX B6 charger up to a pretty regular laptop AC adapter that I had laying around. This is, this is an, an IBM AC adapter, gives out 16 volts, 4.5 amps, I think. And uh, it's pretty convenient because most uh, DC sockets I found, they actually fitted into this, so I just picked one of those adapters that I didn't need. So what we're doing right now is we're 26 minutes into a discharge program. Um, I've hooked up terminals here to this adapter, to this clips, to this single cell 186050 Panasonic lithium ion I don't know what it's called, battery. And uh, so far everything is running really good. I'm discharging at 0.9 amps. Uh, maximum is one amp that you can discharge, but I want to keep it safe. So I don't want to over, you know, discharge this or stress the battery too much. Uh, so far, um, as you can see, 27 minutes into the program and it's it's a little, a little bit warm, but it's not overheating or anything. Uh, it's quite natural because it's passive, passively cool, so it's going to be a little warm, but no problem so far. Uh, and I think I'm going to just stop right here. I'm going to press here. So. I don't know if you guys can see, but let's see if we can see. Okay, so this is how the program works. We just use the discharge, I'll go back, select, and select all kinds of batteries. And select hypo battery. We can choose from charge, balance, that's when you're using many cells, up to six cells. And you have fast charge, storage, I think that's a kind of, you know, uh, maintenance mode for the battery. And you have discharge, that's the one I used last. Now we're going to try the charge mode, because I have discharged this down to around 3.3. I paused the video actually and continued. And now I hit start. And I want to discharge at, I want to charge it at like 1.8 amps perhaps. And this is the single cell, so we go with that 3.7. That's the nominal voltage. It will charge up to 4.2 volts and then cut off. And now I just press and hold, and it does a battery check, and I have to confirm again, and now it's starting. You can see 4.2, that's the, the, the target, that's what we'll go up to. This is the current um, charging uh, amperage. You can see the elapsed time, and this is supposed to be some sort of... Uh, measurement of how how much uh, capacity we have charged 
Yeah, this is an intelligent charger, so it will not overcharge, I'm guessing. It's warning against using protected cells, and that's because they have their built-in protection, so that will interfere. But I'm actually later on going to try one of these battery packs that has built-in protection. They're supposed to be able to charge these, but you have to be careful though. But uh, maybe I'll post a video later on where that goes. So now we're charging. Currently at 0 0.9 amps. And to verify all this, I have my multimeter set up. Let's see if we can see that. There we go. And I'm just going to put these to the clips and see. Yeah, so it, it's giving it, my multimeter is not the, the most expensive one, so this one could be a bit, you know, a bit off, but it's showing 4.19. And that's pretty good because that's what it says it's, it's giving it. And now it's down to 0 0.8 amps. Basically, when you charge these uh, lithium cells, gonna start with a, a bigger charge amperage and then you're gonna well it, th that's the, the, the whole point of this you don't have to worry about how to charge it because it does it quite intelligently so yeah the, the, this is a really good really good buy recommend it highly it's a good build quality feels to be genuine looks like the real deal the sky rc product uh, and I'm gonna buy probably the, the U, uh, USB PC kit so I can monitor the charge graphs and everything on my PC. And uh, well, other than that, it's it's a really good charger. I, I recommend it.